Hey everyone, it's Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be making an inlaid die cut card using the Happy Hug stamp set from Pink Fresh. It's got this really cute image with this really great Starry Night background stamp and lots of adorable sentiments that have to do with hugs and hugging. And I also have the coordinating die that comes just to cut out the uh, the hug wrapped in a scarf image, and it's just so adorable. The first thing I'm going to do is stamp my image with Memento Tuxedo Black ink onto a piece of white cardstock, and I'm going to begin to color that in Copic markers. I stamped this in Memento Tuxedo Black because it is a Copic safe ink, meaning that the alcohol in the Copic markers won't make the ink run. I've listed all of the colors that I use to color in this image in the description if you are interested. And I'm just going to put on a little bit of music so that you can watch the coloring. So I'm now just finishing up the Copic coloring and again all of the shades that I used are in the description. So now I'm going to go ahead and use the coordinating die to cut this image out of my cardstock. I use a piece of painter's tape to hold it in place while it's going through my die cutting machine and it cuts it out perfectly. I have to easily remove the tape that way none of the cardstock gets ripped uh, and ruins my image but all in all, it comes out perfectly. I'm now going to go ahead and start on my background scene. Uh, basically, it's just one stamp, not even basically, it's just one stamp. I love this type of stamp set that comes with this really beautiful background stamp. It makes it really easy for people like me who are a little challenged at creating scenes and background scenes. So what I'm doing is putting it into my mini Misty and I did try to center it as well as I could because at this point I didn't know exactly what I was doing. So I thought maybe if I wasn't going to die cut it out using a rectangle die, I would try to get it as centered on the cardstock as possible. But I'm using suede shoes by Katherine Pooler to create this really nice dark blue starry night scene with this stamp. And as you may have noticed in the picture for the video, I do end up cutting it out um, later, but first I cut out the outline again using that same coordinating die. So this is going to lay the foundation for my inlaid die cut. So once I cut that out, I can discard this piece that was cut out and use the negative. The negative is also going to be cut using a stitched rectangle die, and I'm also going to use this really thick piece of craft foam, and this is from Spellbinders. It is a extremely thick piece of foam that I absolutely love using for shaker cards or when I'm trying to give a lot of dimension to my cards. So now that we have the foam and the rectangle cut out with the background scene, I'm going to take my uh, coordinating die and place it right into that negative space. I'm going to adhere it again with a piece of painter's tape and then I'm going to send that through my die cutting machine. This will die cut the exact spot on the craft foam that is cut on the background scene card front. And that's important because once we put it all together, we want to make sure that the 
space from the card front and the foam, uh, the craft foam, are exactly lined up so that I can put that image right in the center and give it a really nice deep look. And this is what sort of makes the inlaid card design. I think it looks so cozy when they're in the little cave that this makes for them. And I really love the idea of the inlaid die cutting cards. So now I'm going to go ahead and stamp my sentiment. I'm using the snuggle is real because let's just be real. That's the cutest. And I'm using Versamark. I'm sorry, Versafine Onyx Black Ink. This is a really tiny sentiment and it does so well with the Versafine. I'm now going to go ahead and adhere my uh, card front to the craft foam, which is going to make one very thick card front, and this is quite a bit smaller than an A2 size card. I'm not exactly sure of the dimensions, but it's very much smaller, and you'll see it when I go ahead and adhere it to the A2 size card base. Now you'll see how that fits pretty perfectly over the top there. If there's any hanging off, you could always trim it off with a, a pair of scissors, but mine happened to fit really perfectly. I used glue so that I could have a little bit of wiggle room and a little movement in case it wasn't perfectly centered. And I'm going to do the same exact thing to uh, adhere the card front with the craft foam now to the card base. I'm adhering it into the center and this is, as you can see, very much smaller than the A2 size card base, but I really love that border that it gives. And to adhere the image into its little spot there, I'm going to use uh, double-sided tape and this is just because if I put uh, glue on it I was afraid that it might get on the card front a little bit or on that foam a little bit and I don't want it to be sticky at all I just want it to look like it just fit right in there nestled right in there and I thought that the double-sided tape would do the best job at that so I'm going ahead and putting some pressure just to make sure it's adhered all over and that is the entire card I hope that you've enjoyed this video and maybe learned a little bit about how you can make a, your own inlaid die cut card. I love the dimension that this gives and it's a little different from seeing the main image popping up off of the card, which is what we're used to seeing. Thank you so much for stopping by. As always, all of the links to the products I used are in the description. Thank you so much and I'll see you soon.